is redefined your concentration in terms of, and I'll say, 100 mils for percent solution or liters for molar solutions. Because remember we said that for percent solutions we would take it to 100 mils and for moles we would take it per per one liter right by definition um, so then once you redefine it in terms of your um, desired concentration then you can set up your proportion for the volume that you're looking for right and so you can set up a portion and cross multiply and then solve it for the amount of solute desired for your requested volume. So in the case of molar solutions, you must convert moles to grams. That is to calculate the weight, the weight of solute equal to the number of moles that you need. So let's look at the example. It says prepare 25 mil of a four percent weight to volume solution of sucrose. So let's redefine four percent is equal to four grams per one hundred mils. So we set up that proportion we're wanting twenty five mils so we say, how many grams do we need to weigh out to make our 25 mils of solution, right? So if we do our thing and 4 grams times 25 mils is equal to our question of grams times 100 mils, Right, and then to solve for that, we divide both sides by 100 mils. So 4 grams times 25 mils divided by 100 mils is going to equal our questionable grams. So the mils are going to cancel out. 25 over 100 is going to be 0.25. So let's give me a little bit of room. So 4 grams times 0.25 is equal to 1 gram. So we would add, so we would add 1 gram, right, to less than 25 mils, dissolve it, and bring it to volume 25 mils. Right. So we add that gram of sucrose to 25 mils pre-measured, it's going to change our volume slightly. So dissolve it in a little less than 25 mils and then bring it to your final volume. Cohen says prepare 200 mLs of a three molar solution of sodium hydroxide. Now, you need to go to your periodic table and sort out the um, molar uh, weight of sodium hydroxide, but the molecular weight is equal to 40 grams per mole. Okay. So redefine we want three molar. So that's three moles per liter. Okay. So we want to say 
3 moles per liter is equal to how many moles per 200 mLs. So we do our cross multiplication. So we're going to say 3 moles times 200 mLs is equal to how many moles times, and I'm going to change 1 liter to 1,000 mLs to get the same units. Right? So we're going to divide both sides by 1,000. So we get 3 moles times 200 mLs divided by 1,000 mLs is equal to how many moles? And so the units cancel until we get 200 over 1,000. So we get 3 moles times 0.2 is equal to how many moles? So that is 0.6 moles is the, the number of moles we need for our 200 mLs. But now we need to know how much is the weight of 0 0.6 moles. And, right, and so your hydroxide is, let me go back up, go back up, is 40 grams per mole. So we say 0 0.6 moles times 40 grams per mole is going to equal 24 grams. So, so we dissolve forty grams in a little less than our two hundred mils, but bring to volume of two hundred mils.